Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay, and today, Birdman, Birdman Money Hands, want to talk to you about some coins that have been pumping in this market that I brought up on this channel. Want to talk to you about the Seek token, C E E K, for those who were asking in yesterday's video. Want to talk to you a little bit about it, give you some nice bullet points on it that you might not know. Want to also talk about some other tokens. Want to talk about the Fear and Greed Index. Just want to talk about a whole bunch stuff so like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new here check out the website everythingcurrencycrypto.com got merch on there got beginners courses got nfts on there a whole bunch of stuff that you can go and find on my website at everythingcurrencycrypto.com got it up there for you guys so first and foremost let's talk about this fear and greed index right now so this is why i say trade it with caution because there is a bunch of greed in this market the greed has been in this market for about a week already uh last month people were a little bit neutral um and there's some nice reasons on the chart for people to get greedy but as this thing spikes a little bit more there might be short-term pullbacks in the price you know as as it gets up here i start thinking hey i might want to get greedy and start taking some profit and as it gets over here in the fear section i might want to get fearful and have fear of missing out and start buying some tokens so last time i said that i was bringing up a lot of tokens um, that are completely doing well we'll talk about them in a second so first and foremost let's look at this bitcoin chart right here and do a little bit of analysis on it so right now on the daily we are pumping above the 13 moving average we are calming down on the rsi and we're bouncing at a nice level over here on the rsi so we're not overbought when the rsi is up here um, above 80 that just means the token is over bought and too many people are buying it so the buyers get tired and then the price dips and then when it's down here it is um oversold and that just means the sellers are getting tired and then it goes back the other way so it's just an indicator a little bit of a lagging indicator that kind of gives you some little bit of idea of what's going on in the market based on the traders so going to uh, so yeah looking at it right here we're getting above the 13 hopefully we can get right above it what I want to see is is us kind of go sideways in between these yellow lines that I have right here like 61 and uh, 58 K but I'm hoping we can just go ahead and bounce and hit our target already of 71 K and get a nice close above the 66 um, the 66k level but you can see we've been fighting with this 13 moving average for a while i haven't been able to close and retest above it but once we do um once we close and retest above this usually the price gets pretty pumpy um for the next couple days after that so that would be good to see because you know with with more money pouring into bitcoin it just gets more people saying hey what's the next big one and then that's why we look at the total two after that so the total two is flirting with this all-time high that has been in for a while it's above the 13 moving average but it's for like the last eight days or so it's been fighting with this level and we want to just get above it and retest above it already if we bring this down and go to the uh the candle body close um the la the down here actually on over here this candle body close and uh, we can see that we're looking like we retested above it already and headed all, all the way up to some targets already but I was looking at it from about right here and I want to see us kind of come up here nice and get a nice jump if we do dip right here back down to the 34 which is absolutely possible um, a nice little dip there will be dips going going along in the market to let the let the indicators cool down let the the buyers cool down and stuff like that um, yeah so i want to talk to you guys about the seek token so seek is just going crazy right now so i brought it up back up on the channel when it was about um i would say six cents i think it was about six cents when i brought it back up say hey check out this token i was talking about it back when it was like you know two cents and stuff like that but it is doing pretty well and it's having its ride with this whole metaverse pump because it is a vr token that has to do with the metaverse but one thing you might not know about it is they have some uh nice partnerships and i wanted to show you this article right here that they wrote said why facebook wants to be a metaverse like seek and basically they're just talking about the the vr metaverse and if we scroll down 
So it says right here, Seek makes accessing the metaverse possible on all devices, including smart TV, mobile tablets, VR headsets, and more. Excited for our continued worlds on Oculus VR and Facebook Oculus for being one of our earliest backers. So Facebook Oculus is one of their earliest backers. So there's probably some speculation going around about the, the connections between Facebook Oculus and Seek. But Seek trying to build something that is allowing all VR headsets and all these devices to be compatible in the metaverse and they're trying to make all VR devices compatible on different devices so if you implement the technology then you'll be able to like say use your oculus headset on your ps5 and on your you know your computer and, and you'll be able to not only have to go through these separate marketplaces and stuff like that you can go ahead and pick the price point you want depending on the headset that you want to buy so this technology is something that's needed um, I'm learning right now that uh, compatibility is a big thing to me I want things to be very compatible and very easy to use I like things to be fast and that's something that you know that this is what seek can bring to the table with this little idea is part only part of what they got going on over there is and one of the main parts that they got going on like the long-term vision is to make um all of these devices easy and accessible all at once you know so that you don't have to work too hard or have many different headsets um another thing about it um, the connections to Facebook right here it says check out Randy Zuckerberg with Seek's VR headset looks like she's getting ready for the metaverse are you so look Mark Zuckerberg's sister, I believe this is, has her Seek VR headsets, and Seek VR headsets are already available at some stores, not all stores. You can go ahead and try to see if you can find one if you want, or you can go ahead and get one on their website. But the token is looking very nice. I can't believe it's at 25 cents. Um, if you don't watch my channel, you know I don't do price predictions because every time I do a price prediction, um, the price tanks on every single token that I've ever did a price prediction on. So I'm just going to avoid those you guys probably don't want me doing those but um, I will see if something has potential and if I see a double chop a, a double top on the chart or if I hear some news that might make the price go down pretty bad then I'll let you guys know about that so next I want to talk about Ocean Protocol so brought up Ocean Protocol in yesterday's video right now is up had a nice jump today um, to 114 it was at 82 cents yesterday um, luckily I was able to get me some uh, give me some more because I've been talking about Ocean for a very long time been loving Ocean Protocol on this channel for a very long time you can check out my Ocean Protocol videos um, but yeah the market cap is super undervalued in my opinion this should definitely be a top 100 coin uh, kind of like how I feel about track they should be top 100 coins there's a bunch of coins in the top 100 that uh, don't really deserve to be there in my opinion so GHX gamer coins so I was talking about GHX yes yesterday in my video said so I saw a nice trade on it and whenever I'm looking at a trade I always look for other things that are gonna help me out with my catalyst because um, I noticed that and I know that things pump with catalysts and I'll tell you in a minute how to find some catalysts that might make coins pump but there's things that happen like updates to the protocol uh, main nets that are going on snapshots and stuff like that so um, but we'll talk about that in a second but gamer coin um, going to the website right here we can see that gamer coin is the first licensed EU token for gamers and the native token is of the gamer has platform and it has um, over a half a million users which is big for any crypto platform and they have some pretty nice partners you got um, eternity over here uh, chain link polygon um, super bid coin paprika so they have some some pretty well known um, the Swiss the Swiss Polish blockchain associations pretty well known um, partners and they talk about the potential market blah 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 but this is what they do over there at gamer coin so you install gamer hash and then you can mine with your idle power on your machine or you can add play to earn and complete tasks and earn the gamer token so you can huddle in your wallet you can pay for groceries and you can send it to a marketplace and stuff like that so this is a way for people to implement play to earn into their games um, in a simpler way it's a protocol for that so um, 
you know, with a bunch of users already, that's already cool. And play to earn is just something that's going to be pretty big in the future. And with other platforms like Steam shutting down um, blockchain games and stuff like that, um, we're going to need as many utilities as possible for people to um, be able to use this stuff and play this stuff because, you know, people want it. So looking at their Twitter, they have quite a bit of followers going on. So I always check that out to see, you know, how new the project is to kind of give me an idea, like, you know, how early um, we could be to a project. And then I look at the chart and I see this is what's going on on the chart on the daily. So some very interesting chart action going on here. But you can see right here, there was very little resistance coming down. So with that being said, there might be very little resistance going back up to this level. So that's why I have 28 cents more marked off right here it's about double from where it's at right now as a target for this coin it's building a nice little bull flag right here which is you have the flagpole and then it comes out and it makes a little flag and then uh it goes up from there so um hopefully we go right through this level and head to the all-time high all-time high close of this token which is like 67 cents so that's uh, would be pretty nice gains and this token there's some other big youtubers talking about it crypto revolution is pretty excited about it so um could have some nice um hype especially with the whole you know games play to earn metaverse nfts it's all you know all that's hot right now speaking of what's hot right now i want to talk to you guys about a tool that you guys can use to um, find some tokens that could have some hot things going up because a lot of people are asking me hey how do you find some tokens that um are going to be having some interesting things going on and that's coinmarketcal.com so coinmarketcal.com is very you know a very nice tool to use when you want to find um some news that could have potential to pump some prices of these coins and you know it, it's one of the things that works um you know news main nets like i said snapshots is when they um take a snapshot of everybody who has tokens on the blockchain and then they do an airdrop later on so people want to get into those airdrops so there's snapshots going on you got um you know they got the nft game releasing on poker city you got mainnet 2.0 release on cody you got the swap and redemption on phoenix so some of these um are not as big of pumpers like if you're interested in like the rise token then you can go ahead and watch the ama that's going to be going on tomorrow and learn more about that coin uh true fi got to uh, KuCoin listing going on tomorrow, which sometimes that's good for the token, for the token to have more liquidity. They got the, the listings going on. So sometimes listings dump the price because more liquidity doesn't always mean price pump. But overall, having more liquidity in the tokens are good. Um, token burns are another good catalyst. And I would say these are by the rumors, sell the news type of events. So people see what's going on and what's coming up in the next couple of weeks and they go ahead and try to get in there early. And then once everybody jumps in like, oh, the price is going to uh go up tomorrow and then they dump and then people are left holding holding the token and all the traders you know ran away with all the money but this is a nice tool for you to just come through and even maybe experience some new coins try to find some new coins that you might not even heard about if you just see something going on something interesting maybe watch an ama of a token that's always um, a way to find something that you might get bullish on just go for me i like to go watch things and, and listen to the founder talk you know and see what they're talking about what their vision is um you know yeah so you can go to the highlights section and you can see right here they got trending things going on and you can find some new coins up here in the trending section like cardence never heard of it um dot they got the parachain auction going on so we've seen dot have a nice pump to about 50 something dollars today um so that's um pretty cool to see you know we got the parachain auctions coming in 10 days and then this bell decks got the the hot bit listing going on and then you can see how many people view it and then how many votes it has and if people are on here voting for something and and they're excited about it then you could assume that it has a little bit little bit of hype to it you can click and it'll show more coins if you click down it shows they show coins with potential i wouldn't just follow these to the t i would actually go in here check out their twitter see what they're doing make sure you know because this is you know community owned right here i can go in here and like i'm the one voting for these coins and the rankings and stuff like that so very 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 useful tool right here coin market uh cal Dot com. So let me know what you guys think about the video. Are you guys invested in the Seek token? Do you think it is an interesting token? Are you guys 
liking Ocean Protocol like myself, what about the GHX Gamer token? If you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comment box. Check out the website, everythingcurrencycrypto.com. Like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. RIP to Crypto Roots. Think positive and positive things will happen. Till next time, peace.